Some of the ones we love are only meant to walk with us to a certain point in our lives before we have to say our goodbyes and continue on without them. Clara! What is this, Ramon? A gift. Is this a bolo from your father, right? I'm a girl. I didn't need it, I guess. No, you can use it. Besides, it symbolizes my love for you. And if you caught me cheating, you can curve it to my heart. <laughs> it was long and gleaming, and its blade carved insolently, threatening into a glitter sharp point. By the flickering candlelight, the bolo seemed like a piece of metallic satin as it lay helplessly at the side of the sick girl. <laughs> Sita! You're not going to do this, right? You're not gonna sell it! I know I am weak and I cannot resist you, but I am your sister and a child sleeps beneath my breast. Sita! You know I cannot part with this! You know I cannot! Do you hear me? Why don't you answer me? Sita! The younger girl made no reply, but her eyes smoldering with first, sullen anger spoke for her. Sita! You don't understand. I'd rather starve than to sell this bolo. A boy sleeps beneath my breast. I know, and I am sure that this is going to be a boy. Can you understand? A boy to carry on the golden legend of this bolo. It is going to be a boy, Sita. And oh, the Ramon is here, that he shall die before. Perhaps his disappointment caused her death. His spirit did not consent. They would not wish their precious bolo to descend to a son of yours, I suppose. Sita! They have forgiven. Now that Ramon is dead, tomorrow will come some money to us. I wrote them. And we don't need to sell this bolo. Do you see, Sita? I don't. This highbrow fox, do you think they will ever forget that their son disgraced them by marrying so low? A fine thing to forget you, now that he is dead. Clara, Clara, please. I'm hungry. Look around, Sita, if there was something left. Something left? Look, Clara, I have owned everything. Do you think there was something left? I would ask you, Clara, please. Forget the unborn child of yours. How do you know if it's going to be a boy? Clara, think of yourself. Think of me. I've forgotten what decent food is. Please, Clara, let me sell that. Ramon would never forgive me. Though he is dead, he will have a child, and I have to keep this bolo until he grows up. Wait, Sita. Tomorrow will come a money from Ramon's parents. Wait. I could not. My God, I could not. Fool, sentimental fool. I have done everything. I feed you, nurse you. What more could I do? But now, I want to eat, to eat, and you have to give me that bolo. Sita, don't you think of anything but food? Tomorrow the money will arrive. Can't you wait? If you can, then I will tell you. You shall not get this bolo. You shall not! Will I not? Will I not? Sarah said it in a low stall. Watch her sister for the week. Closely, Clara, weak and helpless. Sita. Sleep, Sita. Little by little, fatigue stole over Clara, and now and then her pale lids drooped in sleep. Little by little, her fingers relaxed. Little by little, the bolo slipped from the tired fingers. Steadily, Sita bent over the sleeping sister. Steadily and gently, gently, the slim. Fingers of Sita crept over the blade, a little pull. Oh, so little, and. What can I do for you, Miss? One of 
fine old blade. What can you say, Miss Oscar? But I do not really buy such things. But I do love to serve young lady. 50 pesos is only I can give for this. Anything! Anything! Miss Oscar assented, oh, but Sita oh, thought there was a look of pity in his eyes. Can you give me this for 60 pesos? No, I'm sorry, I cannot. We'll see, I have a friend who has been pestering me for a worthy blade for his work. And Sita discovered that there are other things greater and more powerful than sensations of the flesh. She understood how Clara will, could withstand hunger and why she clung to the bolo. Sita turned to the wandering storekeeper. He held many cribs, green bills in his hand. She leaned over the counter and snatched them from him. And just like what Clara said to Sita, she received the money from Ramon's parents. And she was delightedly happy. For others, a bolo is just an ordinary item, but for Clara, it is a very important thing to her because it is the only thing left by her deceased lover, Ramon.